<clears throat> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Monday's Gratitude Meditation. One of my favorites of the week. Great way to stay, start out our work week and a great way um, to just take a break, to relax, focus on what we're grateful for, and let that expand all day long. So, Kara, welcome. Holly, welcome. And uh, we're focusing on gratitude today. So before we get into it, I just want to read. I don't do this every day, but when my daily reading inspires something in me from my book here, um, it's so funny how this whole pandemic has changed so much in me. For example, um, when we bought this house two years ago, what sold me, one of the things that sold me was this room. I'm like, this is going to be the best yoga meditation room. Um, I didn't want it to be a workout room because I didn't want to, I work out so much outside of here that I don't want to work out in my home. I want to relax in my home. So this is going to be the best meditation and yoga room. And for two years, it sat, it sat empty. I decorated it. I made it look beautiful. I'm like, oh, when I get down there, I'm going to meditate like a boss. I'm going to be so flexible. And for two years, I never did it. So this room sat empty. And now I'm living in this room. And it's becoming such a healing room for me. Such a room for all those things that I was just too busy to do uh, for two years. So it's kind of cool. But with this, um, pack, oh, the, other, the reason I'm telling you this is I got this book for Christmas. And with this book, I thought, oh my God, that's going to be great. My whole new year is going to be awesome. I'm like going to start off with a daily reading. It's going to inspire me. And it took me about three months to open up this book due to this uh, pandemic and quarantine. So some life lessons there. So anyway, today's uh, reading was... Or quote, it's called so unused to, we're so unused to emotion. We are so unused to emotion that we mistake any depth of feeling for sadness and any sense of the unknown for fear and any sense of peace for boredom. And that's exactly what I was doing. Anytime I'd let myself be quiet, I think I was bored. And I'm like, I don't want to be bored. You know, I, I, I hate that feeling of being bored. I'm, I'm being bored, but I'm learning very quickly that there's a difference between being bored and being at peace. So I'm going to read that one more time. We are so unused to emotion that we mistake any depth of feeling for sadness, any sense of the unknown for fear, and any sense of peace for boredom. And for me, that's kind of like the feeling of, oh, when we always hear, I can't get too comfortable because the other shoe's going to drop. Or I can't fall in love with this too much because something bad's going to happen. That, that's a big thing that's in us. And so part of my meditation is learning to be, embrace the joy, embrace the beauty, embrace the sadness, embrace whatever it happens to be, embrace it. And this meditation practice with you for the past 41 days has really helped me evolve with that. So I thank you for that. So I'm going to start off with my gratitude towards you for keeping me to this practice. And let's get going. So find your comfortable spot. Let's close our eyes and just get mindful with our breath. Breathing in and out. Sitting, reclining, laying down, standing at any position that's good for you. Breathing in just mindfully Acknowledging your inhales and your exhales.
Relaxing even deeper and deeper with every exhale into whatever is supporting our bodies. Just relax into that. Letting go of any tension in our bodies like our shoulders, our necks, our chins. arms, legs, fingers and toes. Let everything just sink as you exhale. And then just breathing out any distractions of noise, thoughts, physical feelings or sensations in our bodies. Just let it go with the exhales. just so we can get back to that mindful breathing. Focus once again on gratitude, things we're thankful for, things that we appreciate in our lives right now, like we've done in the past. So let's start to breathe those moments in. Breathe those images in of what you're grateful for. And it could be the same grateful thought over and over again. Or it could be a different gratitude, thankful thought with each breath. However it works for you. Just take in that feeling of gratitude with every inhale. And on the exhale, if you'd like, just say, I am grateful. Thoughts of gratitude on the inhale. On the exhale, I am grateful. And we're going to get into this and just enjoy these moments. I'm going to stay quiet. I'll watch the time and bring us back. So together, let's enjoy the silence and just focus in on all that we're grateful for.
We'll take a few more breaths of gratitude. Just imaging again what we are grateful for today. Just knowing that we can recapture these moments that we're feeling right now of thankfulness, peacefulness, being relaxed any time today just by simply taking a few breaths, reminding ourselves of what we are thankful for, and just enjoying the present moment of that gratitude. And that'll pop us right back, even if it's just for a moment during your day evening or night. So when you're ready, go ahead and open up your eyes. That was our Monday grateful or gratitude meditation. Holly, I see what you wrote. Um, I always feel that too good to be true moment. I used to, um, I'm getting better at that. I would have something that would be just perfect and I would be like well I'm gonna lose this or someone's gonna take this away from me so don't get too hopeful for this don't get too happy whether it was a relationship or for example I got a job that was an absolute is an absolute dream job for me that I um, just thought about dreamed about meditated on envisioned uh, religiously for about a year or two and then I got that job and I'm living that job. And then I keep thinking to myself, after all of that work on getting it, my first reaction was, oh my gosh, how did they hire me for this? You know, I'm, then I start feeling like, oh, they're, they're gonna find out what a fraud I am, that I don't know what I'm talking about. Why would anyone listen to me? Why would anyone believe in me? It's that too good to be true moment. And relationship wise too, you know, like you meet that perfect person, oh, this is so great, but hold on, this isn't gonna last. They're gonna leave me or whatever it happens to be, right? So I think it's very uh, interesting to, to get in touch with that and to be, for me it was anyway, to because then sabotage can set in for me. I can find myself sabotaging the perfect job or the perfect relationship and saying, okay, if this is too good to be true, you know, up here, let me fix that to prove that to you. So that's another reason meditation is so good. Because once you have some real joys and some real blessings like gratitude, grateful things, we need to keep reminding ourselves that it's okay for us and we deserve every bit of wonderment that comes into our lives. Even if it's not permanent, because it might not last. And then we go on to the next bit of wonderment after we go through the lesson of why that might not have worked. So thank you again uh, for everybody here. This has really been special to me as it is every day, but I really do like our grateful meditations. I'm gonna share this with anyone who has not seen it. I wear my grateful bracelet every day. I've had this on for about nine months now. I got it at a um, seminar, three-day workshop thing I went to, and there was someone giving these bracelets with whatever intention you had for your life. So mine is grateful. Um, but there was about 500 people there and everyone had a different word. It was really cool. If anyone watching this meditation would like one, I make these bracelets now and I will make it and mail it to you. All it takes is a regular postage stamp to send it out. And I've got a bunch of those. So you let me know if you would like one. Just tell me what your word, what your one word is so you can wear it. Because I'll tell you, I look at this and I'm reminded every day. All I have to do is look at it. And I, I look at it, I'm like, oh, grateful, okay. And my subconsciously, I start thinking grateful thoughts. Lynn, <laughs> you had competition with me for a while. Oh my gosh, I was like the king of sabotage in my life. And I'm not saying I'm not anymore, but I, I try to keep a step ahead of it and meditation helps with that. So one last thing, if you want a bracelet, let me know. I could put anything on it, um, not anything, but I could put a word on it. Um, and, and mail it out to you. It doesn't cost anything. 
So let me know if you have a word, just shoot me a message. Uh, one other thing too, I don't know if you hear the trains in the background that come through with this meditation once in a while, but we live not too far from a train track that doesn't get tons of traffic, but lately there's been a lot of traffic and a lot of trains. And so I hear it during my meditations that I'm doing, because I do three of these a day um, for different groups. And I found out the reason the train traffic is so big now is the train leaves Buffalo and heads to New York City. And it makes several stops along the way to pick up medical supplies for those in need in New York City. I'm not exactly sure what the supplies are, but it's caused more train traffic going down there to bring things needed. And so now when I hear that train, I'm not, wasn't, I wasn't annoyed. I like the sound of trains actually, but I was just kind of curious like, oh, what, why are there so many trains? So now I hear the train and I instantly think happy thoughts. I think proud thoughts. I think we're taking care of people that aren't our immediate neighbors. We're taking care of people in need. Um, and I think that's cool. So I hear the train now and I just instantly, now I'm thinking in my brain gratitude. Anytime I hear a train, that's how it works. So gratitude sees gratitude. And with that, I'm gonna say goodbye. Have a wonderful day today. And we'll catch y'all again tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody.